So, I'm a Liverpool fan, and what a great week, month, year it's been. Last month has been one big party. Just saw Hendo do a shuffle lift of the Premier League title, ending the 30-year wait. Oh, did I mention that we're also champions of the world as well? When you think life can't get any better, we get hit with the news that Dejan Lovren is set to leave. Nothing personal against Dejan. In interviews, he seems like a great guy. But when he plays football, well, he gives me heart palpitations. Departure though, is not all good news. And I'm about to show you, beyond reasonable doubt, why Dejan's exit set up a chain of react pushes Mo Salah closer to leaving. Dejan Lovren moving over to Zenit for close to 11 million was a story broken by Paul Joyce. Pretty reputable. As opposed to some of the clickbait superstars that have people believing that Thiago Alcantara is set to join Liverpool imminently, even though Liverpool have no interest. Fair to say, just like all Liverpool fans, I was pretty happy when I heard the news that Dejan was set to leave. He's had some great moments, Dortmund coming to mind, but he seems to have way too many not so good moments. I was in Wembley in 2017 where after being destroyed for 31 minutes Jürgen Klopp decided to do the honourable thing and withdraw him. 1v1 battles against Yannick Balassi also come to mind. In general Lovren does really well against a traditional number nine like a Lukaku. However, when faced with an intelligent striker such as a Harry Kane or a skillful winger, well, Lovren seems to come up short. So, all in all, his departure sounds like good news. Well, here's where it becomes bittersweet. Less than 24 hours after we received that bombshell about Lovren being set to leave, well, we get Mo Salah doing that classic player interview, who knows what will happen in the future flirting with other European clubs, stating that he would be open for business if the right offer were to come along. Now, in order to understand what's just gone on here, it's important to understand group dynamics, and especially the group dynamics within the Liverpool dressing room. Now, Mo Salah and Saido Mane have had their run-ins on the pitch, more on that later. But first, it's important to recognise the fact that Dejan Lovren happens to be Mo Salah's best friend at Liverpool, and possibly his best friend in the whole wide world over the last few years. Sources close to the club have confirmed in the past that both Dejan and Mo don't really socialise all too well with the wider group. Both arrive at training together. They only ever sit next to each other on team buses and planes. They have coffee together daily and it's common knowledge that both families actually spend a lot of time together away from football. 2017, when Mo Salah won his PFA award, well here's a video of Dejan Lovren driving him from Liverpool to London. The awards finish pretty late and he drives him back quite late. Lovren is a pretty big part of Salah's Anfield life. Despite there being no animosity in the dressing room, there's a certain tension in the dressing room when it comes to Mane and Salah. Mane has a pretty good relationship with the Brazilian contingent, especially Roberto Firmino. And his best friend Navi Keita is someone who he shared a room with whilst they spent their time at Salzburg. In fact, Mane is so popular that he shares a good relationship with pretty much everyone in the squad. This coupled with the fact that Salah's style of play is pretty direct, well selfish, depending on how you want to look at it. It certainly produces results, but it also robs teammates of the wrong way. For all this tension, Dejan has been a source of comfort to Mo Salah. Early June. FSG sat down with both Salah and Mane individually. The topic of conversation was, if you see yourself wanting a new challenge with a different team, let us know and we'll be happy to accommodate as long as we're given time to find adequate replacements because we will not be forced into any surefire sale. What Salah's response to FSG in the meeting is uncertain. The two things we can confirm is that Mo Salah has started flirting with European clubs as if the right offer came along, he might certainly be up for a new challenge. And the second thing we can confirm is that after the departure of Dejan Lovren, life in Anfield for Mo Salah will certainly not be the same again. After all of that, I'd love to know if you still think Dejan Lovren's move is good news, or if it's bittersweet for yourself. Let me know in the comments as I always respond. Do like, share and subscribe. And as always, until next time.